All right, we just removed our old over and under package unit. There's our old disconnects, looking pretty rough. There's the old condenser. It didn't even get a disconnect. Oh, that's very sad. All right, here's our air handler drain for upstairs. It comes through the return panning for the downstairs. I just couldn't pass this up. And here's our main supply duct, and our runout comes off of it and then turns down because we put it in the wrong spot onto the dirt where it stays. It ties back into the duct. It, it, it's a run on the ground. They put the takeoff in the wrong spot. It went into a pier, uh -huh. and they just, instead of uh, like redoing it, they just turned it down into the ground and turned it back around. So it actually runs down, turns around the pier, and goes onto the ground. Or it has to sit for 30 years. our old units the old I'm not sure what package unit there from about 30 years ago in our Goodman condenser who I guess the homeowner wants to keep and put somewhere else for some reason but we're all cleared out over there where the units went and look at this nice little golf course right there in the back of the house or a great view of a foreclosure from the golf course all right day two out here and uh, we've Got a little bit less fence, a little bit less debris in the way, and we're gonna get that new ductwork in there down in the crawl space. And I'm gonna kind of show you how I put in some return panning. Uh, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time down there because of the dust and the camera, but I thought I'd give you a little peek here. Okay, you can't see it very well, but this is the area we're gonna pan up in there. You can see the return plenum and some of the boards that go around the panned area. So we're going to go ahead and mastic up these boards so they're sealed off a little bit better than before. And then we're going to get that metal panning up there. You can see some of this panning here. And you can see why we're sealing it up. Because that is about a 3 8 inch gap at the top of that joist. That's been sucking in crawl space air for the last 30 years. So we're going to try to improve upon that a little bit by sealing off this chamber to all air movement as much as possible. Alright, this shows a finished product. I was masticating this uh, return plenum and uh, even on the outside edges I put a little bit on the bottom so when I put that panning up it will I have something to seal it up with when I screw it in so that's the idea each corner that can be exposed with a crag masticed up so it'll be as airtight as possible all right here's our panning all finished everything is mastic sealed with our mastic right there painted on. See our tops around the joists are painted on too. Everything's ready for a return flex to be sent in here and tied in. Alright, our new unit is here to tie in. Package unit. GPH 13030 from Goodman. 13 sear. Or 13024, sorry. Two and a half tons, or two tons. We got our flex box over there over there where our return flex is coming out and our supply dust comes out there we'll go ahead and set our unit here and attach those ducts there's a new Goodman unit in action we got the supply and return duct cord hooked on the flexible return duct into a 14 by 24 box and the supply squared around the hard pipe we have our angle up for the head all the way around. And here, if you can see it's in my drawing for the hood panel, I'm going to go cut it out. Here's our hood panels up on the side, opposite side right over here. It's our brand new electrical disconnect for both circuits. It has a two circuit system, one for heat strips, one for the compressor. As you see here, it's a GPH 1324H41AC. G Goodman 
P package H heat pump 13 sear 24,000 BTUs and some other crap I have no idea and you see the serial is 1105 it was built in the fifth month of 2011 for outdoor use only you'd be surprised and that's where we're at almost finished all right here's our unit all running 13 sear given package unit hood's not completely caulked because of the inspection you have to be able to remove the panels and show the inspector what's underneath but there she is